we have to derive the clausius clapeyron equation and the clausius clapeyron equation gives the change of pressure with temperature at first order phase transition and for first order phase transition the gibbs free energy is constant so the initial gibbs free energy is gi is equal to the final gibbs free energy gf and from the thermodynamics relation we get for this thermodynamics relation you can watch our another video whose links is given in the description of this video and the thermodynamics relation is dg is equal to minus sdt plus vdp so gi would equal to be dg equal to dgf after derivating over it we get this so dgi is equal to minus si dt plus vi dp is equal to gf that is minus sf dt plus vf dp now we take dp common because we have to derive dp dt so it will be vi minus vf from this is equal to take dt common so it will be g si minus sf okay now dp dt that is the change of pressure with temperature is equal to si minus sf by vi minus vf now taking minus common from both side we get that now we multiply t on up and down so it will be like this multiplying t with sf minus si now this is equal to heat q final and this is q initial heat by the remaining now this is equal to dp dt now the change of heat that is q of minus q y in the first order phase transition is equal to the latent heat because it's only the phase transition so the change of temperature is latent heat so it will be l here l is the latent heat and this is the clausius clapeyron equation that is dp dt is equal to l by t v final minus v initial where v is the volume t is the temperature l is the latent heat